Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a vendor account once you have received access to your distributor account. A vendor account allows you to start configuring your products and services that you will list into different marketplaces. A distributor can have multiple vendors and a vendor can work with multiple distributors. For today's demonstration, I will be acting as both the distributor who has their own products that they want to configure and sell. This makes this particular person both a distributor and vendor. Vendor accounts can also be created to third-party partners, which follows the same process. Let's get into it. Our process starts in the Partners module, which you can access from the Home dashboard. The Partners module allows you to set your program and distribution agreements that you have for your partners. This is the first step for inviting your partner vendors. Once you are in the Partners module, you will notice a partner, CloudBlue. This is your default agreement that you have with CloudBlue. You will also see separate tabs for contracts and agreements. We want you to go into the agreements tab to create the initial agreement for your vendor. Once you are in the agreements tab, you will notice a create agreement button. This will start the creation wizard for agreements. Once you click the button, there will be multiple fields to fill out. First, you want to choose the program type radio button. This allows you to create the agreement for your vendor. Next, we want to give it a meaningful agreement name and description. In the document source area, you want to choose how you want to set the predefined terms you have with your vendor by linking to the document or uploading the actual file agreement. You can also choose not to link or upload any partner documents in which the terms should be mutually agreed to with your partner and only the description is shown to them. We can leave the active version button left as checked. Click create. Now that we've created the initial program agreement, you can see it listed in the agreements tab. Now we want to create an instance of the agreement by using that agreement template and creating a contract from that same program template. Let's click the contracts tab and start the creation of the actual contract link. In this tab, you will see the Create Contract button. Let's click the button to prompt the Contract Creation Wizard. In the first step, leave it as Program Type. Click Next. In this step, we will reference the program agreement we created a minute ago. This will create an instance of that agreement in the form of a contract. You can also issue multiple contracts from the same agreement if you are working with more than one vendor. Now we want to choose the kind of contract. Let's use production. There is no functional difference between production and test besides a test flag on the contract if test is selected. We also want to provide a note to the signee. This note will be shown when the contract link is clicked and before the contract is accepted. Let's click create. Once created, you will be shown a contract link. Click the copy button to copy to your clipboard. From here, you will need to activate the contract. As a reminder, in this demonstration, we will be acting as both the distributor and the vendor, so we will be activating the link in the same account. If the intention is to invite a third party vendor, you will need to send that contract link to your partner by emailing the partner with this specific link. This link can only be activated once and is time sensitive. Now we are acting as the vendor. Once the link is clicked, you will see the contract activation link with all the pre-configured terms and agreement documents that we previously set. The vendor will now provide the email and click the acceptance checkbox. Once you click next, depending on if the user is a new user to connect or an existing user, the system will prompt for a password or password creation. Since we are an existing user, Connect immediately identifies any existing accounts the user already has. In this case, it shows our distributor account. However, we want to create a new vendor account, which is functionally different. So let's click Create the New Account button, which will allow us to create the new Connect vendor account. Connect will now prompt the user to give the account a company name. Type in the name of the vendor account here and click Next. Now. Click Activate and proceed to CloudBlue Connect. 
Now that we have successfully created a vendor account, you'll notice in the top right that this account is marked as vendor type. We can also go into the partners module and see our distributor account successfully linked to this vendor account. On the top right, since we accepted it into the same user email, you will also see two accounts that the user has, the distributor and the vendor account. You can easily switch between these two. An important thing to note is that if the vendor is a third party vendor, they will only have access to the vendor account and will not have access to the distributor account. To quickly show the distributor account's point of view, we can switch over and now see the California vendor account listed in our partners module. Congratulations, we've successfully created a vendor account and linked it to our distributor account. Please visit our Cloud Blue Connect community website for more help and information on Connect.